I did two coats of that maroon color just to give myself a really dark background. And then I went ahead and started sponging on the white. And you'll notice that I'm sponging it on pretty, you know, thick. It's very, it's a very wide sponging of white. And that's because I want to have enough space for my other colors to kind of layer down into, like, kind of ombre itself, but not quite. It needs to be like a messy ombre, kind of. I didn't intend this video to be a tutorial on how to do Galaxy Nebula nails, but I do have a video for that. So if you'd like to go check that out, please feel free to go check it out and give it a like if you find it helpful. I don't normally use my Maniology stamping polishes as regular polishes. That means I wouldn't normally use it as a sponging color for a Galaxy, but I didn't have any other colors that would that went with the colors that I needed for it. So I had to use my Maniology colors. My absolute favorite part of doing Galaxy slash Nebula nails is getting to the end where you get to put that clear coat on and it all looks so messy and doesn't really look all that great but then you put the clear coat on and it's like magic and it blends everything together and it's definitely my favorite part. To get my little astronaut man to span over three nails, I put his body on just my middle nail and then later on removed the arms that were on the sides of my middle nail with some acetone. And then I re-stamped him and did just his arms. I could have sworn I recorded the second part where I stamped his second arm, but I guess I missed it. So sorry about that, but there he is, isn't he cute? To finish off the mani, I put on a thick glossy top coat by Salon Perfect. It's hands down my favorite. I certainly hope that you enjoyed watching me make this mani as much as I enjoyed creating it. I really love space. It's one of my all time loves. I think it's so cool. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe.